Hello there people of YouTube and welcome to this video. I'm going to show you a few ways to clean your computer. If your computer is that slow, I recommend you do every single one I say in this video. I was at a friend's house a few days ago. I went on the laptop and man it was slow as hell. And as soon as I did all these things I did in this video, BAM! It was like, it was a noticeable difference. It was like, it was like as good as new. Doesn't matter about how much RAM you have, so even if you have 16 gigabytes of RAM or 32 when you never clean your computer for like millions of years and then it will always slow down. This can help, well, speed up your computer if you just, all you do is go on the internet so it'll help be a bit faster on the internet, even if you use Internet Explorer. So, let's get on to it. First thing, press Windows key and R on the keyboard, or you can probably find this in the start menu if you're using Windows Vista, Windows 7, Windows 8, or Windows 10. So what you type in here is App Data. And then when you get into App Data, press Local. And then go into Temp, Temporary, which is just temporary crap you don't really need. And then just delete everything out of there. Even if you put it in the recycle bin and empty the recycle bin, it will still happen. You don't need to shed your files. It just works the same if you put it in the recycle bin and empty it. Just do that. Some things won't let you delete, but that's alright. Because those are probably like important files or something. Anyway, you can probably type in, in the wrong thing, pro but I know where it is. It's going to local disk or Windows 8 or Windows 7, whatever it says, your local disk. Go into that. Yes, you'll see a bunch of crap. I wouldn't go deleting everything. I wouldn't go deleting System32 to speed up your computer. System32 is important, okay? Don't listen to people that say delete your System32 because then you're basically fucked. Sorry, I had to put that in there, but you basically are. Go into Windows in... No, that's in Program Data. Just go into Windows from here. Windows. This is only for Windows, of course. I'm. If you're, if you're using Mac and you want to, your Mac slow, Go and look up how to speed up your Mac on a different video because I don't use Mac so I don't very often. So never delete this folder. Never. Because this is a very important file your computer needs. And that's not what I'm trying to tell you to do. Go into from here. Go into fetch, isn't it? Called yet free fetch. Just continue this and just continue your UACs. I'll just turn them off because they know the crap out of me. And just simply drag it or delete it whatever you like to do whatever you like to do and then you can just simply empty the trash and if there's other temporary files in here like this usually is I guess you could delete everything in here if it let you some things won't let you so like that just skip because they're probably important files or something that's fine because they're just like unwanted files and there's even more unwanted files that you know it's hard to do it manually it's hard to delete things like this manually so I recommend C Cleaner because you can get the free version or Advanced System Care 8 I use both I'll show you them both they're pretty simple this one doesn't have to run in the background of your computer to tell you but if you can have it on your desktop and then have like a a really sad face if your computer really needs cleaner and it really wants you to clean your computer or it have like a medium face like Clean it. Yeah, I guess it's a pretty good useful tool where you can fix if you've got shortcut errors and crap. I'm pretty sure it does a good job. Or you can use this one because this one's pretty simple and easy. Because you just open it and then you can select what you want to delete. But be careful because this permanently deletes the files. Like, I wouldn't do that just in case it wipes all your files. Just be careful on what you tick, okay? And from here, you can just. There's like. I don't even have Avast. I don't use Avast. Yeah, I might put Avast and stuff there in Google Chrome, even though you might not use Google Chrome. And you might use Firefox. Or you might not have. Yeah. Because I don't even have Avast installed. I only. I have a. It deletes your internet cache and history for you. So you don't have to go and do it your browser. Cause I don't even bother cleaning out my history and my cache from my internet these days. I'll just like see it or 
advanced system care do it for me. Like, you just simply just run cleaner and it'll just clean everything. It might take a while at first if you've never cleaned it. It it will do a good job of cleaning your computer. I cleaned it earlier, so it, I cleaned my computer earlier, so it might not have much to clean. <laughs> and it also tells you like the specs of your computer <laughs> up there. There we go, it's done. Yep. And it's just... For some reason, I don't even use Internet Explorer and it always has loads of cache and unwanted files left on my computer. So CCleaner does a nice job of cleaning all that up for you. Another thing I recommend is downloading malware bytes. I'm not... You might not have malware. If you never scan for viruses or malware, you might have tracking cookies lying around on your computer and stuff. Like, hidden. Trust me, I've had tracking cookies so many times. I recommend malware bytes. Just get the free version, because that's what I'm using right now. I'm just using the free version. Also, malware bytes helps to uh, to pick up some unwanted crap on your computer, which is nice. If C Cleaner doesn't, you know, didn't set C Clean, I don't know, you know, but it helps to pick up malware and non malware related. That's potentially unwanted crap. I definitely recommend malware bytes for this. The free version does not run in the background, so there's no way it will interfere with your antivirus. Even if you do get the full version, it it won't interfere with your antivirus because it's not an antivirus, it's anti-malware, so it's different. It... Oh yeah, this is advanced system care thing here. There's a nice little widget on my desktop. RAM and CPU. I recommend a full scan, even with antiviruses. Do a scan now, and then it would scan for like malware or unwanted junk on your computer toolbars i'm sure it does a good job of removing those so i recommend malware bytes <laughs> and another thing i recommend if you never scan viruses as an antivirus i don't recommend microsoft security essentials mcafee and windows defender that comes with windows 8 and windows 7 i don't recommend i recommend these antiviruses avast AVG. Maybe Komodo. Yeah, Komodo is pretty good. And Bitdefender. They all. And Norton, I somewhat recommend. I don't know if I. You go for the antivirus you prefer. I mean, Norton is good for picking up viruses, I'm pretty sure, because I've seen. Everyone has different preferences. Some people might actually like Norton, some people might actually like Avast. I have nothing against those antiviruses, they are just. I just use AVG. It works well for me. I've always used AVG and I'm just gonna keep on using it. But yeah, because viruses can slow down your computer. So if you never scan for viruses, then. Something else I recommend is going into uh, control panel and then uninstalling things. The only reason why that is a powerful install of um, programs and deletes the unwanted files. So I guess I recommend that because it's useful. So from here, I recommend going through the stuff you don't know what they are. I know they could be viruses. Go through stuff you don't need or you don't use or you're not sure about. Like if there's toolbars, definitely uninstall those. Okay, so I hope these tips help to speed up your computer. If not, I don't know. Maybe you've just got really, really, really bad hardware. Like probably have like one gigabyte of RAM. That would be really slow on a computer, so 4 gigabytes is definitely what I recommend, at least for Windows these days. Usually a lot of laptops you buy for PC will are 4 gigabytes with like Core i3s, which are pretty basic if all you want to do is search the internet, so. That can make a difference, but I'm sure these things will help you speed up your computer, because I'm not saying RAM matters right now, and I'm not saying what processor you have matters. It just depends what you do on a computer, like sandwich you it's different for different people so i hope this helps if you've got any questions leave them in the comments and i'll be sure and be happy to uh try and reply if i can if i can't i'll go to your channel and <laughs> and sometimes youtube doesn't let you reply to some people's comments you probably said like that but i will even if it means going on your channel i'll do it yeah i'm gonna go so bye